Welcome back to the channel. This is C Dub Studio bringing you a new deck. Uh, today we're bringing you Rakdos, um, a primary uh, black and red deck. Uh, so let's just jump right into what we have in this deck. We've got uh, two copies of uh, Concealing Curtains. Uh, it's a defender for one, uh, 04 creature, and then for three we can transform and activate as a sorcery. And when we transform it, target opponent reveals their hand. Uh, we may choose to discard a non-land card from it, and if we do, um, that player draws a card. So really great at getting a, a big threat out of their hand um, and being able then to create a 3-4 creature once it transforms and it has menace. Uh, which is pretty great value. Um, four copies of Shambling Gas, uh, one mana, one one, and then when it dies, uh, we can either give target creature minus one, minus one till end of turn, or we can um, create a treasure uh, and be able to use that as a mana source. Uh, three copies of Experimental Synthesizer. Uh, when it enters the battlefield, or leaves the battlefield, exile, exile the top card of your library until end of turn you may play that card. And then for three mana we can sacrifice it, create a 2-2 white samurai creature token with vigilance. Um, <clears throat> three copies of Valderan Epic Epicure. Uh, when, Val when it enters the battlefield it deals one damage to the opponent and then we get to create a blood token. Uh, blood token can be sacrificed to draw a card. Uh, and we can also pay one to discard a card and then sacrifice it and draw a card. Uh, we primarily are going to use this uh, two, two different ways for the, um, the blood tokens. Uh, one of them is for the Omnicult Anvil. Anvil is whenever one or more artifacts you leave the battlefield during your turn, create a 1-1 one, one colorless construct artifact creature token. Uh, so basically we get to sacrifice tap it, sacrifice deals one damage to the opponent, we gain one life, we create a 1-1 one, one artifact creature token, or we can use it with the blood tile harvester. Uh, we could tap it, sacrifice the creature, and then target creature gets minus x, minus x until end of turn, where x is twice the number of blood tokens you control. Um, so those are the primary uses for the, uh, the blood tokens. Um, then we have... Uh, Bolted Surge, uh, this is another reason why we want to create blood tokens. So in addition to cast this spell, we can sacrifice an artifact. Uh, if we do, uh, vault <coughs> Volcanic Surge does 4 damage instead of 2 damage to target creature or planeswalker. Uh, 3 copies of Deadly Dispute, in addition to casting this spell, sacrifice an artifact or a creature. Uh, we draw two cards and create a treasure token. Uh, this is really good for being able to um, dive into the deck and maybe get uh, some removal or maybe get some uh, some win con uh, that we are searching for. Also a great way to get additional mana to be able to play other things. Uh, then we have three copies of Mihawk Massacre. When it enters the battlefield, each creature gets minus X, minus X until end of turn. Whenever a creature you control dies, each opponent loses one life. Whenever a creature an opponent controls dies, we gain one life. Uh, and then we've got Ob, uh, Planeswalker for three mana. Uh, it has got Casualty X. The copy isn't legendary and has a starting loyalty of X. So what we do is we slam this down, sacrifice something like the Harvester, or a, um, a vampire or a zombie. Uh, and then we get to have another copy that has the, um, has the loyalty of the power of the card that we killed. Uh, and then we can plus, the way to do this is we plus one and we minus the other. So what we want to do is we want to minus two first. Uh, and that creates a 1-1 one, one devil creature with whenever this creature dies, it deals one damage to any target. Uh, and that gives us the ability to plus the other one. So we do plus one on the other uh, copy. And then each opponent loses two life unless they've discarded a card. If you control a demon or a devil, you gain two life. So we'll gain two life. They'll lose two life. Um, and then uh, we'll have a blocker set up as well. Uh, so that's good to have. Uh, and that damage 
once that token dies, can be directed anywhere. So it doesn't have to be directed at a creature or a planeswalker. We can also direct it at, uh, at, at face value as well. Um, then we have Terragrid, God of Fright. Um, she can be played as a creature or an artifact. Uh, so if we play her as a creature, she's a 4-5 with Menace. And whenever an opponent sacrifices a non-token permanent or discards a permanent card, you may put that card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. So with Ob forcing a discard um, and us being able to put that into our control is pretty great. Uh, Invoke Despair uh, also is really great. Um, but uh, yeah, so with Terragrid's L Lantern, if we did that instead, target player loses three life unless they sacrifice a non-land permanent or discard a card. And then we can pay for it to untap it and perform that same thing again. Uh, invoke Despair, uh, target opponent sacrifices a creature. If they can't, they lose two life and you draw a card. Then repeat this process for an enchantment and a Perlanswalker. So really good at getting... Uh, things out of our way that are in our way, such as planeswalkers, enchantments, and creatures. Uh, so two copies of that. Uh, two copies of Hive of the Eye Tyrant. Um, we can, it's basically, it's a creature land. It can become a 3-3 uh, creature with menace, and whenever we attack, uh, we can exile a card from the graveyard. Uh, and then we have five copies of a snow-covered swamp. Um, so originally in this uh, deck I had tried Blood in the Snow, that didn't really pan out, so you could just use regular um, swamps, they don't have to be um, snow covered. Uh, one copy of Tukmira, Abandoned Mirror, or Mire, uh, so we can pay four, we can discard it, mill three cards, and then we can return a creature or planeswalker from our graveyard to our hand, uh, so that's really great. Two copies of Den of Bugbear. Uh, for four mana, we can create a 3-2 red goblin creature. Uh, and then whenever it attacks, we create a 1-1 one, one goblin creature that's tapped and attacking as well. Uh, and just keep in mind that we can also um, utilize these as creatures and then sacrifice them for Ob's ability uh, and, and get two copies with a higher... Um, loyalty starting if we were to do that versus um, just putting slamming him down by himself and not being able to sacrifice anything uh, so that's another way you can utilize these uh, these lands that are uh, creatures uh, four mountains and then one copy of a crucible of defiance for four we can discard and we create two one one color the spirit creature tokens they gain haste until end of turn, so we can use these as uh, chump blockers if we need to. We can also use them to sacrifice for Ob. Uh, we can sacrifice them for Deadly Dispute. Uh, there's many ways that we can utilize them. And then four copies of the um, multicolored uh, land. Uh, so being able to get these in the deck and be able to select red or black for whatever we need for mana is great as well. Um, so 60 cards in total, 23 lands in the deck, uh, mainly because a lot of our casting costs, uh, especially in our hands, are 1 mana to 2 mana drops. Uh, there's not too many other cards in this deck that are more than the 2 mana cost. Uh, as you can see in the curve out, uh, there's 15 that are 1 cost and 14 that are 2 costs. Um, so not really need to have additional lands in this deck. There's multiple ways to to be able to play out this deck without you know having to have more lands in it. So anyways, that's the deck guys. Um, we'll get into it and we'll show you how it works. I think we mulligan here. I uh, don't really have any creatures to play. All right, I think this is better. So I think we'll keep this. Uh, I think Invoke Despair goes back. So we'll play uh, 
right step pathway first to play concealing curtains. We play uh, harvester. Yep. Pretty much how it goes with final green. I think we play experimental synthesizer. Back the blood token. Going in for three. Alright, invoke despair. Back in. Down to ten. Oh, tough choices. Um, we play Anvil. Bring in for three. Down to five. End our turn. We play the Terrigrin's Lantern. Right. And he knew the writing was on the wall, and he scooped. Alright, so... There's a win. We'll take it. Alright, this looks good. I'm going to play Concealing Curtains first. Going to play the Harvester. plan for next turn is to sacrifice the uh, harvester for ob you know what we'll um we 
We'll attack in first. Then the plan will be we'll make a uh, a one one uh, devil, and then we'll uh, we'll plus the other one. So minus two on one of ours, and then plus one on the other. Enough and notions of morality. All that matters is power. Oh, that way, there we can uh, for you. potentially gain life. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. And we have another blocker. I we get gassed out. Plus, go ahead, plead for and mercy. go plus again. Defy me, and you'll lose everything. No attacks. We'll activate the ability here. We'll see what's in his hand. Get something to be discarded. Okay. Plus. Plus, play our anvil. Plead for mercy. We'll sack this to make a one-one. No attacks, and we'll end our turn. Plus, plus. <laughs> Your punishment, defy me, and you'll lose everything. Sacrifice. No attacks, we'll end our turn. That's fine. We're gonna block. And scooped. 
Uh, we're going to minus 7 and uh, make him lose 7 life. Obviously plus the other. He would lose some more life. Swing him with the eye if we wanted to. They had a bunch of options. Uh, he saw the writing on the wall and scooped. 